And I don't know how many churches today that that's what they really are. They've become more of a sense of entertainment. And we want to come and get a good show for about an hour and put in a little bit of money and go home and feel like that we've been entertained. That is not what worship is about. Worship is something that comes from the heart. That is gratitude from what we, God has done for us. And it's not, not that we're the audience. We're all in this together. We are celebrating an audience of one. God is the audience. We're the participants that are celebrating with God. And we think about it, you know, when my kids were little and they would get, receive a gift from someone, one of the first things we would do would say, and you know you do this yourself, we'd say to you, when someone would give them something, we'd say, what do you say? What do you say? And then they would say, thank you. And in that, we're teaching them gratitude. We're teaching them to appreciate when someone gives them something because we have a lot of people today who think they're entitled, that they should just be receiving things just because, you know, I think maybe the government has, has kind of created that a little bit, but that we just feel like it, we're entitled to things. But listen, we ought to be thankful for everything we receive because we're not entitled to these things. And so we teach our children to do that because... We want them to be grateful and not spoiled brats, right? That's what we want. Well, some of us as Christians, we may act like spoiled brats sometimes because God has blessed us so much. And we don't even take the time to come to church sometimes. And we don't come to t take the time to, to come here and be thankful and to worship God from our hearts. We won't even sing sometimes because we're not excited about what God has done in our lives.